Hayes, Kansas. It's a warm day outside, but in here in Gross Memorial Coliseum, it's downright hot. <laughs> yep, and it's getting hotter as we go. That's right. We have a good match up here. Matt McDonough comes in undefeated, but at 28 no. Of course, Dawes from Andale, Mike Dawes, comes in with a 32 and 1 record. The only loss he has coming uh, as he intentionally moved up a weight class to wrestle the uh, young man who's going for championship and at 151 pounds here tonight, uh, Kevin Beaker from uh, Heston. So, uh, two excellent wrestlers here. Of course, Dawes has scored the takedown. Uh, he took fourth at 119 as a freshman. He, he finished first here last year at 130 pounds. And McDonald finished fifth at 140 last year. So, uh, McDonald gets the escape, and that makes us a 2-1 match. Dawes in the black and gold singlet, and McDonough wearing green. It looks like uh, Dawes might have gotten a bloody nose. He won Oh, he lost the mm -hmm. contact. That happens, too. Uh, sometimes you wonder uh, why they want to wear those things out there, but a lot of guys feel more secure if they can see the other guy. 2-1 to score now. Dawes over McDonough. Mm -hmm. Dawes is going for that other sec second takedown, and McDonough's doing a good job of fighting him off, but he got it because he's, his knees came down inside the boundary line there. Clock will stop at 118 in the first period. This is the 142-pound weight class. Mike Dawes of Andale and Matt McDonough of Immaculata. A lot of people question that. Why didn't Dawes get a takedown there before they went down on the mat? Well, on a takedown, it, the, the rule says that you have to get control of your opponent down on the mat. Now, in a reversal, if he had been on bottom and coming out on top, uh, a reversal says comes behind in a rear standing position or down on the mat. So uh, the difference is uh, whether it's a reversal or a takedown. If it's a takedown, you have to put him down on the mat. If it's a reversal, you come around behind him standing up. You've got your reversal. Sounds very similar to football in the, in the control of the ball when you right. go out on bounce. 102 on the clock, 4-1 in favor of Mike Dawes. Okay, we've got another escape, so we're 4-2. They're in the neutral position now. And McDonough won last night over Bryce Glick of Plainville in an overtime, 2-1. to one. Uh, It was uh, the full overtime. They went the first two-minute period with neither wrestler scoring, and uh, we went into the third, uh, the second, the 32nd overtime period, which uh, at that point, one wrestler chooses top or bottom, and uh, whoever finishes on top wins. Uh, McDonough was able to get the escape with about five seconds left and win the match. Six to two, the score now. Still Dawes on top. 25 seconds left in the first period. And that was where another one of our undefeated wrestlers coming in lost. Uh, Coster beat Ernson for one, and uh, McDonough beat Glick for the other. So, uh, hasn't been easy getting here. Bryce Glick of Plainville coming in 22-0. and 0. Some people thought that uh, he There's would probably escape. make it to the championship match. Well, they didn't give the escape that time. It doesn't look like they did. It does not look like he was awarded the escape. I guess he still had that leg tied up in there. Didn't get it back completely before he crashed back into him to try for the takedown. Well, we we've got just six ticks left on the clock in the first period. Dawes with a four-point lead, 6-2. McDonald would like to get another one of those escapes at this point, and of course Dawes wants to finish it out on top. And he does. The score remains 6-2 as we go into the second period. Mike Dawes of Andale and Mac McDonough of Immaculata. 6-2 the score as we go into the second period. It looks like Dawes will be in the top position. Again. Da Dawes is going to use the optional start, which normally means he's going to turn him loose, and which he did. And now, uh, now we're a three-point spread. Of course... Uh, Dawes going for the takedown again, trying to get it back again, and does. 8-3 to three the score. McDonough came into the tournament last year undefeated, wound up uh, finishing fifth at 140. 
So uh, he's no stranger to the state tournament either. And uh, he's done an excellent job. Excellent wrestler. Eight to three, the score. Mike Dawes decides to take the top position this time. Got that whizzer in there. He's coming out in front again for the escape. So we're down to eight to four. It's a four point match. Just 1.15 left on the clock. Eight to four. Second period. Dawes does an excellent job with the takedowns. Of course, the, the takedown man uh, likes to turn, turn them loose and take them down. But uh, every now and then he gets taken down. And that's the danger that he looks at by doing that. Just about one minute on the clock in the second period. Eight to four, the score. There it goes. McDonough's it, got the takedown, brought it up to eight to six. McDonough shorting, shortening that gap just a little bit. That was pure quickness there. He got Dawes with his head down and just hopped around behind him before Dawes could move. We have injury time coming here for, uh, looks like that same contact lens again. It's a two-point spread, eight to six, 49 seconds on the clock in the second period. Dawes been having trouble with that contact lens and it looks like it's out in coach's hand. Yeah, coach can have the problem with that contact lens from now on. I'm watching to see if he puts it in his mouth. That's a safe place to hold it. <laughs> if you don't <laughs> swallow it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't think I don't think coach will do that. It looks like they're putting it in a case. That locked hands call there by the referee. And uh, Dawes comes around for the reversal plus the locked hands penalty gives us a five-point spread. 10-6 now, the score. 36 seconds on the clock in the second period. And a locked hands penalty against McDonough. Mike Dawes coming in 32-1. and one. McDonough 28-0. and oh. McDonough's Got his legs back again. He's going to looking either for an escape or a reversal there. If he can get that leg free, he'll have the escape. But Dawes has to hold him for about 20 seconds. Dawes back around behind it again, and and they're off the mat. Very close to another escape there. 11 to six, the score. Dawes still has the lead. McDonough not out of this match by any means. Dawes will be in the top position again. McDonough's trying to get those hands off and, and get away for the uh, for the escape again. Of course, Dawes, too, there's Coach Mike Mar uh, Rich Martinez from uh, Immaculata. The, the, many, many of you have been around wrestling for a long time, might remember him as wrestling for Newton High School several years ago, an excellent wrestler down there. Uh, he and all of his brothers. So uh, he's no stranger, and uh, he's doing an excellent job coaching there at Immaculata. Well, we'll go into the third period, and the score will remain Mike Dawes 11, Matt McDonough 6. Dawes representing Andale, McDonough, Immaculata. McDonough's in on the legs well. If he can uh, keep it going, he might be able to get a takedown here. Of course, Dawes has his leg pretty well sacked up too, but... Uh, Boy, these two are really going at it. McDonough's got the takedown here, it looks like. That cuts that spread to 11-8, a three-point spread. Now, McDonough can't get his arm out of there so he can do anything else with it. There he goes, he gets it. Seconds clicking off the top, off the clock. 117 now. We're in the third period. We have just a three-point spread. Matt McDonough looks like he might have the momentum here. Well, at this point, it looks like Dawes could be uh, starting to get a little defensive, and he gets the stalling warning there. No. They warn McDonough for stalling. I feel like he's not doing anything. A 
11 to 8 the score just over a minute left in the third period McDonough will start start in the top position he kicked Dawes away there try to go to try for his own takedowns he's gotten two of them now and he feels confident that uh, he might be able to get another one and of course Dawes at this point it looks like he might be willing to back away just a little bit and uh, try to hold it we're out of bounds we're going to start in the middle again we'll start with 43 seconds left in the third period 12-8 the score now Mike Dawes with the lead over Matt McDonough and it looks like McDonough might have injured a finger yeah he's had some he has some tape on his fingers there it looks like maybe he might have jammed him on the way out there and uh, or uh, bent one over backward a little bit too far that that gets pretty painful it doesn't uh, doesn't stop you from performing but it does get painful so what do we do for an injury timeout how much time do they give okay. the uh, each wrestler has a total of two minutes timeout for injury now that's not injury that's caused by something illegal that's injury that just accidental like this like and, this uh, one. Uh, he can take as many timeouts as he wants, but it can't go past two minutes total time. So uh, uh, he used up some time there, and uh, Dawes has used up some time, so neither one of them has a full two minutes left. McDonough did an excellent job of stepping behind on that head shuck there, but, uh, and Dawes was able to, to counter on it, and... Uh, we're in a situation here where either boy could score real soon here. Or Just 20 seconds left in the third period. 12 to 8 to score. It's pretty close. McDonough in the top position now. And it looks like the referee is going to start him in the neutral position with 15 seconds. You see Dawes backing up there and he's getting warned for stalling. The, the rule says if you're backing up and not trying to make an effort to wrestle aggressively then you're stalling and that's just exactly how he got called if he backs up again he's going to get called again boy the official staying on top of that 12 8 to score time ticking off mcdonough needs to do something very quick it doesn't look like he's going to get enough time and time runs out excellent match excellent match boy we've seen some good ones this afternoon Mike Dawes, the champion in the 142-pound weight class as he defeats Mike McDonough. The final score, 12-8. Congratulations to Mike Dawes. He's our champion in the 142-pound weight class. You're watching 3-2-1A State Wrestling Championships from Gross Memorial Coliseum on the campus of Fort Hayes State University. I'm John Berlue, and alongside of me, Fred Scott, enjoying some fine wrestling action this afternoon. Yes, we've had some excellent matches, and uh, we've had some excellent wrestlers here. And, of course, they're going to start giving out medals again at 134 pounds in sixth place. We had uh, Kurt Knoll from Osborne. In fifth place, Brent Porter from Leota or Wichita County. Fourth place was Kevin Rao of Garden Plain. John Spiegel from Smith Center finished third. Tanner Woolsey from Oberlin Decatur County was in second place and Tyler Samuelson from Oakley your 134 pound state champion undefeated and there you see your champion Tyler Samuelson receiving his medal boy they're certainly not slowing things down at this tournament moving right along 